Welcome Capricorns. Happy Valentine's to all you Capricorns out there. Wow, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Capricorns. Okay, so Capricorns, I wanted to um, welcome you to the month of February 2021. It is a timeless reading, whatever you are uh, um, looking for some sort of answers, I see um, that you can come back and uh, recognize and come and connect in this month. All right, Capricorns, this is a wonderful month. Light is been shed on a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. Who is this person? Whatever is transpiring, I see some sort of a information or light is going to be shedding on this person. Is this your mother? Is this a, a supervisor? Is this a haunt? Is this a relative? Is this a family member? I see light is going to be shed on this person. So what you have to contend with, a lot of you are dealing with a, um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion man. Whoever this man is, uh, um, I see... Um, this man, the communication of this man is not good. So whoever the Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person is, whatever he's communicating is uh, not good, okay? Or some of you are waiting for some sort of information from this man and you are waiting, waiting, waiting. Now, a lot of you are dealing with a lot of people. The rest of the signs were dealing with themselves and you Capricorn are really dealing with a lot of people. So what we're recognizing is that you're dealing with um, the uh, water sign, men and women, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. So um, a lot of you, if you're in a relationship with a, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, man, somehow the information, what is coming out from this man, uh, is not clear. So recognize that, okay? So it's as if... Uh, don't believe what this person is saying. So if this man is a Taurus, Virgo, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, it's as if don't believe. Maybe this is your father. There is something about your father and mother. So if your father is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, um, or it is your husband, there is some sort of information that he's going to be um, telling you about a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. Don't believe um, what this person is saying. you got to recognize this. So expect this. In your foundation, I see you're standing your ground and protecting your network. Okay, you're standing your ground and protecting your network. It's as if someone wants to end or someone wants to um, end some sort of a, a network that you had going or someone and you're standing up and protecting people that you are in collaborating with you're standing your ground and you're protecting people some of you are standing your ground and protecting yourself from a scorpion woman and you're really standing your ground and protecting this person and um protecting yourself from the scorpion woman and is protecting your business at the same time all right so i see some sort of a new offer could be coming in for some of you capricorn so this is good some sort of a new offer. You're going to be having a new start at the end of this month because you are protecting a group of people and is standing up and giving these group of people some sort of a new start moving forward, okay? And then when we look, I see judgment call. Judgment call is coming down on a scorpion woman. Who is the scorpion woman? Light is being shed. Judgment call is coming down on a scorpion woman. Uh, judgment call is coming down on a Pisces cancer or a scorpion, but it's coming up as a scorpion woman. A lot of you were dealing with a scorpion woman. Judgment call is coming down. They're recognizing something about the scorpion woman and a lot of money. You're standing your ground. Whatever is happening, you are really, really standing your ground. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the second week, you're dealing with some sort of a relationship um, situation. Um, and I see, um, a new contract could be coming out for some of you, or, um, I see some sort of a new, um, someone wants to reconnect with you. Okay. And this is good. In the third week, um, we see some of you are dealing with some sort of a situation with your mom, or you're dealing with some sort of a financial situation. And, uh, um, whatever is transpiring, this is coming up. As a situation with your mom and you and your mom is uh, 
uh, communication or there is no communication between you and your mom. However, this is transpiring. Um, so the third week is the, the second week and the third week for you, um, Capricorn is going to be the best time. The third week and the second week for you, Capricorn is going to be the best time. Um, the last week transition is coming up for a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion. This person is going to be released from some sort of a situation. It is coming up as if you have a young man, whoever this young man is, <laughs> this man is a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion. I see a new start is going to be coming up. Is this your child or is this your partner? A new start is going to be coming up for this person. Communication is going to be um, going and business is going to be coming in. Uh, it could be from this person or some sort of a fast activity is going to be transpiring where um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion in your life. Um, but this is coming up like a family member, like your son or your daughter. Some sort of a new start is going to be coming in for them. And it is going to be good. The eight of ones is about action. And it's going to be very busy, very busy. So if you're a business person, expect um, action coming in. If some of you were waiting um, for some sort of a situation to create action is coming in, people are recognizing an action. It's like a whole lot of business, a whole lot. Of, it's going to be very, very busy. And it's uh, February is going to be going fast, 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 fast for you Capricorns. All right, let's see. Go back and look at the general reading, Capricorns, because in the general reading, you're standing in limbo in the first week. You're waiting for some sort of information. I see a lot of money is going to be coming in for you, Capricorn, in the first week. Whatever is happening in Trent's barn, there is a judgment call that as Scorpion women have to pay some of you, Capricorn, a whole lot of money. And you're standing your ground and making sure that this woman pay the money. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know who this lady is and whatever is transpiring. You're really standing your ground and making sure that this lady, whether this lady is and whatever is transpiring, that this lady paid the money because um, people are recognizing some sort of an unfair game that a scorpion woman have done. Is this your boss or your ex-boss or is this a haunt who has took money from you or is this a family member? You're standing your ground because judgment call is coming up on this person. And they're awarding that this person pays you a lot of money. And you're standing your ground and making sure that this person pay you for some sort of a dishonest uh, accomplishment that they have done. And you're standing your ground and say, hey, this person is dishonest. And for the first of the week of the first of February, you're really standing your ground. Expect some money to come in the first week of February. And this is good. Um, then um, judgment call is coming up on a, a cancer man. They recognize that a cancer man has created a whole lot of issue. Um, they recognize that a cancer man has been very dishonest. Whoever this cancer man is, whatever age this cancer man is, the king of cups is here and they are recognizing that a cancer man has created a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems and has been very, very dishonest. And they are recognizing this and they are coming down on a scorpion woman and a cancer man because they recognize what the scorpion woman and cancer man have done. I see you could be paid. Um, they're going to be saying uh, the scorpion woman have to pay you a lot of money along with this cancer man for some sort of a damage that they have done. And of course, some of you, some of you is a scorpion woman. Some of you is a cancer man. Some of you is both okay so recognize that and um, if you are in a relationship with a scorpion woman a lot of you men are going to be recognizing and it's going to be standing your ground because some information is going to be coming down about this cancer woman so if you're in a relationship with a cancer woman be recognized that in the first week you're going to be finding out something that this lady has never told you then we're looking at the second week. The second week, I see you and your partner are going to be financial stable. You and your partner is going to be having some sort of a new start. Um, if you and your partner, your husband or wife or your child um, didn't have communication, the communication is going to be picking up um, in the second week. And this is going to be very, very good. Um, money, financially wise, is going to be good. You have the energy of Ten of Pentacles. This is good to see. A lot of people, we haven't seen the Ten of Pentacles in our reading for a very long time. Remember to go and check out uh, the extended reading. It's just 299 
um, you can see what is coming up. We have the energy of the lovers. Um, and some of you um, that was in a relationship or, or a, a married, if you're married to a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person, I see this situation um, um, is uh, whatever the collaboration is with business and work with this person, it's, it's kind of um, rocky, maybe because you both are busy. Okay, but I see no endings, but maybe because you both are busy, especially people who are in a relationship with um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion man, I see some sort of uh, busyness for this person. So I see both of you are going to be very busy. This month is going to go fast and um, this is going to be busy, but I don't see any other ex vehicle that this person, if it's your partner in the week of Valentine's, is going to be very busy, but yet still, um, you both are going to be, um, uh, you know, reciprocal to each other, and this is going to be good. Okay, let's look at the third week. Third week, a lot of you are dealing with your mom, the energy of the Empress, your mom. And whatever is transpiring in the third week with your mom, we're recognizing if you're mom is in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. I see you are protecting your mom from this man. Whoever this man is, is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. And whatever is transpiring, I see a lot of you are trying to protect your mother from this man. And is also protecting a brother or a sister um, that is between the age of 18 and 45. And is as careful. Um, if you have a child that is... Uh, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. This person is going to be, um, you know, protecting you um, in some way. Some of you, some sort of a communication between this person and that sort of a thing might be coming up where you're recognizing that some sort of a communication wasn't there. And I see if you are a mom, some sort of information is going to be, um, it's as if communication is not the month for communicating. Um and creating any contracts with anyone. So remember Capricorns, no contract is to be created in this month with anyone. Um, it is not viable to work or create any contracts with anyone. I see you're more focusing on um, working, focusing on doing your work, focusing on creating for yourself, focusing on bringing um, you know, something to the table where you are balancing out a whole lot of situation that was transparent. So a lot of you, um, some sort of a communication with your mom. Some of you have not communicated with your mom. Some of you are having some sort of a communication problems with your mom. Um, you could be having problems with your kids in the third week also. Okay. Some sort of information could be coming in about your kids in the third week. So I see a lot of you mothers are dealing with your kids in the third week and some sort of a situation where you recognize you haven't heard from your kid. You're very worried. You want to know what is going on with this person. Okay. And some of you, um, Capricorns are dealing with issues with your own mom where you're not communicating and, um, you know, you're blocking some sort of a communication or you decide not to communicate with this person. So communication with the mom and problems with mothers and children is going to be coming up in the third week. In the fourth week, I see some sort of a transition. So in the fourth week, if you were collaborating um, with other people, I see some sort of a transition. I see in the fourth week, um, you heard nothing from people that you were collaborating with and it is okay because I see you're going to be recognizing, you know, um, it's okay. I can, you know, do my thing on my own. So a lot of you could be ending some sort of a communication or could be ending some sort of a collaboration that you were doing in the fourth week. Okay. However, this is transpiring is that some of you are recognizing that, um, there are situations that I should leave behind. There are people, things, and situation I should leave behind. And I see you are hindering some sort of a collaboration or some sort of a communication with people in the third week. And I see um, that you're really deciding um, this situation has um, run its course. I'm good with it at this. I'm letting it go. 
And a lot of you are going to be realizing when I let go of the situation, I'm going to be recognizing that it was good that I let go of this situation. So this is going to be good and positive. Um, transition for a Scorpio. Um, yeah, transition for a Scorpion. If you are in a relationship with a Scorpion or a Pisces, transition for the Scorpion and the Pisces, and it's going to be good. A Scorpion is going to be having some sort of a new start. Um, and they're going to be recognizing because of you Capricorns, you're going to be giving a Scorpion a new, a new start. Um, a Scorpion man would be offering some of you Capricorn a new start. Um, a Scorpion who you haven't heard from in a while is going to be turning up back on your doorstep and uh, you are going to be happy that the communication is uh, um, balanced. Okay, so this is a, a wonderful month. Okay, money is good. Um, you're communicating where, where, where there was no communication and um, you're going to be having some sort of a new start um, at the end of the month. So uh, you know, if you have not spoken to someone in a very long time, you're going to be having some sort of a communication at the end of the month. A lot of you um, Capricorns are going to be taking down a cancer man. And um, by taking down the cancer man, that is going to be giving you a new start. So whoever the cancer man is, I see a judgment call, is going to be coming up for a cancer man. And by you, um, whatever you are doing, um, you are making sure that this cancer man do not get another chance to do anyone this thing. Whatever the thing is, is that you Capricorns, um, especially young Capricorns, are going to be making sure that a cancer man never, ever, ever done anyone else um, this sort of a destructiveness because it's as if some of you young Capricorn recognize that a cancer man brought you in some dishonest play with a child and its mother. And you recognize now that this cancer man was, did it because of, uh, um, in a pleasure. Um, you know, people who are just, uh, um, revengeful and you recognize that you were on the wrong side of the line and you're going to be making sure that this cancer man never ever affect another woman and her child. So I see a lot of you young people is fighting. Um, for a, a, um, a mother and his child, because you recognize that a cancer man have created issue for this mother and this child, because this man, um, have a inner liquor pleasure, but it's a sadistic sort of an inner liquor pleasure. And you are going to be showing up this cancer man and make sure that a mother and its child have a new start. Whoopee. And this is what I said, you know, sometimes Capricorn, do things but then sometimes Capricorn recognize hey when they find out the truth why someone did something um they're going to be recognizing oh oh so you could have done me the same thing and then the Capricorns are going to be turning back and protecting the same people that they were working against because they recognize that uh, whoever this cancer man is they recognize the horrible play that this cancer man did for a woman and her child and I see you young Capricorns is turning around. You were collaborating with the cancer man, but then you recognize, hey, the cancer man have done this to the lady and the child. And there was nothing that the lady has done got me involved. Okay, so, you know, you're going to be flipping the coin on the cancer man. And it's going to be making sure that a woman and her child gets a new start. Because you recognize what the cancer man has done was very, very um, this honest. Okay. So we recognize that. Wow. Love is looking good. What is the energy for you guys to, ooh, ooh. um, you know, the ace of swords, a lot of you ace of swords, and um, a lot of you are not going to be, um, number one. Okay. New storage communication. Don't, you know, whatever the communication is. And sometimes it's better not to say something. It's not a month of, blur out everything don't blur out a lot of things it's really not a month to blur out anything just um a new start is going to be coming in for you take this new start run with this new start and recognize what is happening when it comes on to fastness this month is going to be very fast it's a busy month a whole lot of work for a whole lot of you are going to be coming in and people are going to be 
um, very, very busy. Some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a communication from a, um, uh, a Caucasian man or a light skinned man. Uh, but it's coming up more as a Caucasian man. And, you know, if this person is your partner, it's going to be very, very busy. But I see this person one is saying to you, I want a new start. Okay. And this person is going to be showing you, Hey, I've recognized all that you have gone through, but yet still, I want a new start. I want to redo something, and, you know, and they're going to be asking for a new start. And I would say yes. So some of you could be a scorpion and some of you, um, it is just a Caucasian man that is going to be saying, Jesus, I've seen all that you have gone through and I'm here to support you to the end. And I see you're going to be working together with this person in order to balance out some sort of a situation. So I see a whole lot of action. Some of you could be texting, calling, speaking to a Caucasian person or for you, Caucasian man, it's going to be busy. You want a new start with someone and you're going to start texting, texting, texting. So Capricorn men, uh, Caucasian, it's going to be a good month for you, especially when it comes up in love. The age of action is here and it says there is so much going on right now around you. Um, that may, uh, makes you feel overwhelming. And yet it is wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time. Even if life feels challenges, frightened, then do so with confidence. So, um, Capricorn, this is a really, really wonderful time. Um, enjoy the moments. Uh, um, you know, you have no need to worry about money. Um, someone that has created you a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems. I see, um, that they have to pay you, um, for the chaos and what they have created in your life. And I see light is going to be shed in this month because people are going to be recognizing that a scorpion woman has not been honest. And I see, um, they're going to be recognizing because people are going to be recognizing that a scorpion woman, a cancer man, have created a lot of issues. So be aware. Wow, Capricorns. Wow. That is so, um, so beautiful. A lot of you are going to be recognizing, um, that you are taking back your power in some sort of a way. Um, you are recognizing and you're standing your ground. Um, and especially you women, mothers you're standing your ground and protecting your child like you're protecting your little bears and your little cubs and this is going to be good so wonderful wonderful alignment of energies and use this energies and this power in order to recognize who you are money is good protect your money whatever is transpiring i see um a lot of you could be um creating a whole lot of financial stability for yourself um this is going to be good so however you are doing this, I see transition is going to be coming up with between you and people that you recognize. I'm so busy. I don't have the time um, to communicate with people. I'm very busy and I see that you're going to be very busy in this month and it's all about focusing on what you have to do and creating for yourself. I got to go and um, show your loves by thumbs up. Remember to go check out the extended reading and I'm going to stay until next time.